back out here live in aquaponics paradise. Woo! What's up, Carlos, man? Oh. We don't have enough vegetables. Huh? We don't have enough vegetables to eat. What do you mean? I just started cooking. I realized we need more vegetables and more fruits, man. <laughs> Okay. Peppers. Okay. So that system ain't big enough. It's not big enough. Let's go over here and check. Let's do some mathematics real quick. All right. So we got a plot. We got nine vegetables per plot. Nine times four. What's that? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Okay. We got thirty-six. Two grown men. You're right. This is not enough vegetables, my man. Not enough vegetables. I think what we should do. We're gonna grow the fruits here. We're gonna take these vegetables out and we'll grow the fruits here. We'll grow all our fruiting crops. The peppers, strawberries, tomatoes, cucumbers. We'll grow that all here. We'll build a big trellis and then over there in the breeder house. We'll connect that to another aquaponic system an NFT system where we grow all our leafy greens over there baby salad greens Kale all the other stuff over there at least ten different chili peppers. You want ten different chili peppers? You serious about these chili peppers aren't you? One section of chili peppers. So one section is just chili peppers. Nine chili pepper pans. Variety of chili peppers to cook with. Okay. Red one, uh, green pepper, jalapeno. Those, those are the main one to cook and eat with. We need those. And then these we can have strawberries. I like strawberries too. So we can actually have like one side, one whole thing strawberries. You can do a lot with strawberries. That's true. Shakes with it. You can juice with it. I actually just like slice them eating, eat, uh, eating it. And then and over here, what other fruits you have in mind? Cucumbers? Um, you really like cucumbers? Nah, if they're good. But is there something that, I mean, we got space here. No, let's grow something that the store can't, it couldn't have if we wanted really bad. Like what? Hmm. Um, go figure it out. Tomatoes, we need tomatoes. Do we even use tomatoes? Hold on. We do need tomatoes. Tomatoes are expensive too. But do we eat a lot of tomatoes? I don't even think yeah, we eat a lot tomatoes. of tomatoes. Yeah, we can cook with a lot of things with it. With tomatoes? Yes. Pizza, pasta. I don't want pizza and pasta, pasta, my man. That's too heavy. I'm with the light food now. Yeah, we need tomatoes. Not too much though, but we do need a little bit of tomatoes, bro. We're probably gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna herbs. have to build some. Build some herbs. But we need a whole bed just for strawberries. That's hell of strawberries. We need unlimited strawberries, man. So where we just come in there and just. Whoo. Can you eat that much strawberry? Of course. All right, that's what we'll do here. We'll have a better idea when we go to the sea store too. So you want to build an NFT over there for all the green stuff. The leafy greens. All the lettuce, yeah, all butterhead, the greens, yeah. lettuce. Okay. All the leafy greens. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's start building on that NFT then. So there is one bad news. When we came back, or actually it was before we left. You know the guy who survived, the tilapia that survived? He actually ended up biting the dust. And we were gonna name him. We liked some of you guys' names. A whole bunch of you guys, you guys had good names. But we were gonna name him what? Cinderblock. Cinderblock. Cinderblock was a fire name. Woo, that was a fire name. I can't believe he died, man. Yeah, he died, man. He bit the dust, so nothing we can do about it. He went in there and he was just hanging upside down. Yeah, he was in there hanging upside down. But guess who is alive? My man, King Kong. In there swimming, floating all in the water column. This pipe right here, we can extend this outside. And we'll just take this down, our little ceiling rack. Or we might even be able to leave that there. We can leave that there too. Matter of fact, we'll leave that there too. We can just put a T here, plumb it down, and bring it out that window, and then hook it up to the rest of the, the, um, the NFT systems going across. And we'll have this whole thing in full production. Yeah, that's it. And let's go grab the rest of the stuff. How high it is, you think? Four it's about four center block, eight times four, 32 inches off the ground. You see what I'm pretty much making a thin shelf, like this thin, and, and it can sit right on top of it. Cut these up and then put them on the side. Let's save this one real quick. We do one measurement and all of them is the same. No, all of them are not the same, because the slope. Yeah, so I got a little slant down there. Um, I mean, would that be the easiest way? I want the fastest way to do it. Fastest way is just throwing the center block there. Then. That's the fastest way to do it. 18 of these. Let's test this out. All right. I know we have to come back again. We need PVC glue. I need this. So now my love to you, baby, I surrender. Get ready. Tonight. Don't know, baby, it's a night to remember. Get ready. Uh, seal. Yeah, those seals. Crack. You can see it in the uh -huh. sun. You've been sitting in the sun for so long. Yeah. It's cracked. Some of them will still work. Some of them will fail us, though. All right, how do we do the plumbing? Let's hear it. My plan is to go all of these to go down, and they need to connect 
leave three of these need to connect and one pipe run down here. You could do you could do three down or you could do one across and one down. Ooh. Those are the options you have for that. And that you saves. Can do that. I need an elbow here, T here, and elbow here, and a T going down. Yeah. We, if we're gonna connect it like that, it needs to increase. Oh, because so the it doesn't, water flow. Yeah, so it doesn't get jammed up, yeah. You wanna do that way? Yeah, we can do it that way. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So these are, look like a one fourth inch? Half inch. Is a half an inch? Yeah, half inch. And you, uh, three fourth inch pipe? Three fourth inch, yeah, three fourth inch would be good for this. We had to increase it from the core half inch to a three quarter inch. Okay. Therefore, all of them can connect together and it can easily flow back to the sump tank under gravity. Gravity's not gonna go up past this. This is as high as it can go, is this level here. If we try to get it through that window, we ain't gonna make it. So we have to figure out another solution. That water can't go any higher than there's no way to get it in unless you punch a hole through this building. There you go. How high is this level ever gonna rise? The highest Probably level? about right, somewhere about right there. Then we need to punch a hole right about here. No, that's too high. Below that, below that, right below that, a little bit below. Probably somewhere right in there. And we'll just keep the water level low. Oh, you have those four. How's that thing get water there? This is gonna have to shoot out there and come up all the way around. We're gonna have to run a pipe all the way to the back. Or we can run this. We don't wanna run it in the way. We could run it in the way. It would be easier if we ran it in down across, but that means that's something, that's extra something for us to step on. I was trying to get it, clear it all the way. Cause there's one pipe coming in here anyway. Where's the pipe? Uh, from down here, we need your hole and run that pipe. No, we ain't gonna do that. We need to run it back here. We need to run it underneath here and and drill a hole and bring it up oh, from the back. Oh, yeah, you can drill a hole. You see that hole right there? Yeah. That's right. What's underneath it? Just wood? Yeah, wood and ground. It's just dirt. Let's put another ball out and run it down here. Okay. Under the hoop, uh, reader house and connect to all the drip system outside. Okay. That's gonna work. Where is this drip coming from over here? It's condensation or something? Oh, I think this tank has a leak in it. This tank has a small leak in it, yeah, that we gotta fix. You can mastermind with somebody who would you choose to mastermind with? Pick anyone, like any extra person? Any expert, expert, yeah. Of all time? Of all time. All time. I think it would have to be about what? It has to be dependent on about what? About success. <laughs> Man, he he, he has a different style that than yes. us. I think he knows some shit that makes it really easy, like and stuff like take this route he's like really dumb i think he knows he needs to act dumb he can't be himself he's too damn smart mm -hmm. who owns this land i don't know it's fans off like somebody own it if somebody does own it it's a business oh snap and then the people down i think it's the people down here who sell the oranges because you'll see them selling it when the, in season i think they own all this so those oranges you just leave right there and they just go to work yeah that's amazing man they probably go through and pump some water or some fertilizer in there because how close they are Orange tree ain't even that big, huh? They trim it. It can get way bigger than that. But they trim it and they keep it keep it low. So it's easier to harvest. If you have fresh produce that's grown really strong, it's hella good, man. Mm. Fruits are hella good. When I was in Westminster, I buy fruits like every three days. Yeah, I remember you were telling me about all the fruits. Where's this building right here? Uh, that's like a... I think that's like a get-together building where they come and mingle. It's people come and they throw events there. Country events, I think.